Hey guys and gals, this is David from Gentech IO. Um, so yeah, this is my first video. I'm really excited. Um, and what a great way to start is to actually show you uh, my work in progress is my little home lab that I'm running. Um, so it's nothing great, uh, <laughs> to be honest. We all got to start somewhere, right? And there's a lot of projects running through. So what I'll actually do is I'll run through my phone camera and I'll just give you a little rundown of what I'm running at the moment. Uh, so just to give you a little bit of a, you know, vocal rundown is I have a Dell R710 um, and I have an old second gen Intel PC that I've repurposed as a free NAS server. Um, so that will be a little bit of a really interesting thing to go through. Um, but yeah, this is where it all starts out. You know, we all started on a flat network and we slowly build it outwards. Uh, and yeah, this is kind of my home lab journey. Um, so a lot of media consumption, you know, mom and dad's on here using it. Uh, essentially, you know, my family comes over um, and they'll use the internet. So down the track, we're looking at, you know, creating VLANs into VLAN routing and just creating firewall rules through my PFSense box. Um, which IE is the firewall of choice that I'm running currently virtualized um, But either way, I'll run you through that in a second. So let's go Hey guys, welcome back. This is future David speaking. Um, let me just pull my headset for a second. Sorry <laughs> um, Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna run you through my uh, home lab as I said before um, and just you know showing you what the current stand where the current standing is in my whole setup um just FYI I just wanted to let you know that I will be moving around with this mic and sorry if I make any noise um it's running through FL Studio which basically means that somewhere down the line um someone wanted to be a rapper um or some crazy producer so um that's my recording audio recording of choice um but yeah so let me run you through my um setup at the moment or my current home lab so this home lab is running in my room. Um, it's really hard to sleep. Um, it is air conditioned as well. And yeah, so this is my um, Dell R710. Um, so really great home labbing server. I really recommend you to start out with this. Um, the guy that um, I got this from, his name's George. I won't give you his last name, of course, uh, but awesome guy. Slapped in a decent amount of RAM in there. I paid 600 AUD for this, um, and it's a very capable server for a home lab. Uh, and yeah, so this is running. Uh, so I got, in terms of services, this is running my. Um, so this is based in, on XCPNG. Um, so that's my Type 1 hypervisor that I run. It's running my. Um, yeah, so my PFSense virtual machine. So my router is virtualized. Um, I've attached a second NIC on the back, which is an Intel based NIC, four port gigabit NIC. Uh, and that's where I got my, uh, as you can see over there, that's my modem. So that's plugged in directly to that. Uh, the other part is plugged to my switch, which is the LAN part. Uh, and in terms of my switch, that is, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, so that's just an unmanaged basic uh, dummy switch, I guess you could say. Uh, just a basic business switch that you can buy off your uh, local store. Uh, that's a consumer grade one. As you can tell, it looks really pretty. And all the Ethernet ports are at the back. It is due for an upgrade, and that is a future video. As I've got some sweet goodness over there that I'll run you through in the future. Uh, but yeah, that's in terms of my networking, that's what I'm running. And on top of that, for the server, I'm running ZoneMinder as well. Um, so ZoneMinder is essentially an open source uh, surveillance, network surveillance, I guess you could say. Um, and I'm also running uh, XOA or Zen Orchestra uh, as a virtual machine. And that's all I can really remember from the top. But in terms of a home lab, that's, you know, that's pretty bare bones. And it's uh, been great. So to side of that, we got this bad boy over here. Before we get to this real devilish bad boy here, let's um, run you through my access point. So the way uh, this is, I uh, can't remember what this, it's like a D700 V2 or something like that. Um, either way, this is my current router that I'm running. Um, here's the name over here. And the way this is running is 
So there are multiple ways you can do this. So you can plug this directly in to the PFSense and, um, you know, technically the back nick that I'm running for PFSense. Um, and you can, you know, you can VLAN tag it. You can do additional stuff in there, capital pooling. Um, but all I've really done is I've just plugged it in to my dummy switch um, and, you know, just manage everything on the actual interface itself. Um, just a lot easier. Um, I don't really need any of the features at the moment, so that's what I'm doing. And then we got this big bad boy here. So what this is, this is an 8-year-old computer. I built this when I was 13, 14 years old. 2011 or 12. So this is um, an Intel-based computer. It's running um, a 2600K processor, overclocked of course. Um, that's the only reason how why it's operating at this time. Um, it's been water cooled with the H100 original Corsair H100 when it came out. Um, so it is an OG. It's still rocking. You know, it hasn't. It, it's running 30. It's running at 30 degrees. Um, I believe with FreeNAS. So this whole device now has been repurposed as my FreeNAS server. Um, so we got Plex running on here as a jail as a plugin actually, which is based on a jail. Um, and then over here, we have uh, a bunch of my hard drives um, that is, yeah is essentially running in a ZFS pool, as you typically would with FreeNAS. And yeah, I got a couple. So what I love about this. So this is a Corsair 600D. I will give you a full list of what I'm running, um, but it is it is all old spec. But look at that capability. Look at how many um, hard drive bays there are on such an old uh, case. Like they really thought about this. Good on you, Corsair. Um, you know, no dramas with this case other than they really um, really needed to stick more dust <laughs> dust filters. Um, but you know, each of their own. What can you do? Um, it's still decent. So, yeah, so, essentially, look at that. This is, like, the amount of hard drive bays you can install. Uh, and then, you know, we got this part here, uh, which is basically your disk, where you'd have your, um, disk, uh, where you put your disks, or your, you know, your sex spec, uh, fan controllers. What I'm planning to do here is... Probably looking to retire this because it is pretty old. Probably grabbing another uh, Dell R710 and running that as my um, FreeNAS server with a JBOD based uh, controller. Uh, but for time being, I'll probably grab another fan. So take these bays out over here and then plug a fan in and then get caddies and hold an additional bunch of hard drives. And mind you, if, if you lift this bad boy here, you can actually see another solid state dry. Ah, uh, let me, I should focus this. There you go. Um, so we got a little SSD in there, Samsung SSD. Um, so that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of my home lab. Um, you know, so I do have this air condition, it is air conditioned. Um, I'm planning to use a Raspberry Pi or something uh, to kind of turn the uh, so using infrared to turn on the um, air conditioner when you know when it's needed and when a certain amount of ambient temperature is reached um, so yeah this is in my room I am running this home lab server in my room um, just a bunch of old books there don't mind those want to be a hacker of course and um, got my Xbox in there. But yeah, this is essentially a uh, home lab. Doesn't have to be great. You know, you don't need a server, a rack, um, which is a future video. <clears throat> but this is the current standing of my home lab. Then yeah, I got my standard PC in there. I'll chuck the specs in. Of course, that is not the main attraction of today. Otherwise, I'll be happy to go through with you if you guys are keen. <clears throat> But yeah, looking forward to um, building this out. Keen to run through you guys um, with the growth of this home lab. <clears throat> I am looking at centralizing it and keen for you guys to take a look at how I work 
and um you know seeing how we can build this beauty out peace